Greetings family and friends, welcome to my vlog. So it's Friday afternoon. Well, actually, no, it's not afternoon. 6.15 on a Friday. And I've sort of finished all my chores for the day and um, just sloped off. And now I'm just going to have some time. Just relaxing, having something to drink, and hopefully go home later on. <laughs> Not hopefully, but jolly well I'm going to go home later on. Anyway, for now I'm just going to relax, have something to eat. It'll be my first meal of the day, because I've had a long old day trying to sort a few things out up at Kent <laughs> so I finished and here I am trying to wind down and have a nice Friday evening it's not so busy where I am it's somewhere called Lagunda in Freetown it's sort of Aberdeen I think and there's a huge expanse of water just at the back there um, very quiet um, there's some people about, they're having something to eat, families, friends, and some young people. There's young people everywhere you go in Freetown. And um, yeah, they're out there and they're doing their thing. And it's very encouraging. Yeah, so, what's been going on in life? Trying to sort out the building work I'm engaged in building at the moment building a house on a piece of land that I purchased some years ago and that's real hardcore task I have to say it's not easy and it's a money bloody drainer that's what it is um, and you you have to think about things like you might not think of in other places like access to water and electricity so you have to make those part of your plan as you embark on on you know building a house but for me it's an exciting time because the only home i know in australia has been my parents home and because i no longer go there um, both my parents are dead and obviously my uh, other family members are there and I don't, I don't live there anymore. So for me, this will be my first sort of permanent home um, as an adult. <laughs> and it's funny that I'm a, actually a very grown adult to be embarking on a first home in Sierra Leone. But um, yeah, that's that's my journey. So um, I'm pleased that I'm able to start it. Um, pleased that I was able to round up um, a little bit of uh, here and there funds to to get the project going and I'm just hopeful and, and optimistic that I'll be able to finish it and I'll be able to um, do it well to, you know the level that I want to do it and more importantly that I'll be able to provide electricity and water to the um, to the house you know um, yeah it's <laughs> so it's been a, a, a busy time for me and it's funny because when you're middle-aged sort of almost getting old <laughs> and you go through lots of different things like changes in your life and you need to move things on to another stage to to get to this to sort this out and to move that to that stage so that um, you can begin to look forward to um, old age in a way or retirement or whatever it is um, it's it's another phase of life and each phase of life i find you prepare if you're a person with family and children 
So you grow your children, obviously they're born at some point in your life, you grow them and they are able to be independent and take off and do their own thing. And that's what every parent wants really, they want their children to be able to be independent and to um, support themselves, you know. But, uh, but being a parent is a lifelong job, <laughs> it's one of those things that you can never ever stop being until your time comes and you're no longer in this world but it is a privilege i have to say it's a privilege it is a privilege to nurture another human being it is a privilege to give birth to another human being and to be able to mold them and and get them to fly off if you like um but you're always there you're always there for support and guidance and help and all those things and for me myself because i no longer have any parents i feel that sort of absence if you like of not having parents i don't have any parents and i don't have any um i don't have a husband or something but i have my son so that's 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 great um, but not having the parents, especially, I think that because they're always there and they're always, whatever it is that you do, they always want to make sure you get to that next step successfully. Because it's almost like your success is theirs. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And if you do well, they're doing well. And it makes them happier, it makes them. Um, more satisfied with their lives because um, then they know that they've done a good job <laughs> if you're if you're carrying on in life and you're being successful your parents know that they've done a good job um, because if they hadn't you wouldn't <laughs> shout to me um, yeah so that's what it is yes so I'm trying to pick up and um, just do all of those things that, that I need to do. Um, yeah, it's beautiful out there actually. I think it's a sort of a lagoon type of place, this one. But it's still nice. So here we are. Do please, do please, if you watch this um, video, do please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm still trying to grow it. As you can see, it's creeping along very slowly, very, very slowly. And um, yeah, share it too, share it too. So this video today is all about the next stages in life. It's, uh, we, we all have different phases that we go through, different stages of life that we go through. You know, when you're young, sort of, carrying on and, and um, meeting somebody and getting married and family life and children raising children and getting to the end of that and sometimes people move they relocate to new places and they have to start all over again and you know put things together put their lives together disrupt a whole set of um, stuff that they've been doing before in the place that they were and then they have to then rebuild everything in the new life so that's that's quite an interesting thing and it's also very courageous it's very very courageous to leave something that you have known and a part of and to start something new it shows that you're an extremely able person that can weather storms and changes <laughs> and that's not a bad thing it enhances your life and i think that in many ways it brings in longevity because to be able to fulfill all of those things that you're um, doing you know it, it gives you a new um, joy of life to carry on living and to enjoy life and to um, experience all the things around you so that's it thank you very much for listening that's a girl coming thank you Thanks for listening. Do please subscribe to my channel. I'm signing off now. And um, yeah, <laughs> all the best. <laughs>